What's going on guys? And this is the charades draft. So RBT actually drafted this team. I did not do the gameplay in that video because I did not have time. And looking at this team right now, it's not as bad as I initially thought. I got Ernie Banks, who I have yet to play with this year. I'm going to put him at third. Ortiz second. Edwin there. Uh, let me see. Oh, we got David Freeze third base. I forgot that I got him too. I'm trying to think of where I should put him actually. I got a really good infield. I, do I switch him out with Edwin? Mm, this is now, now the decisions get down. I'm gonna put him in center field, I guess. David Freeze is gonna have to play center field. Seth Smith, kinda wanna have him in the game. Maybe I'm gonna put him in there instead of Jay Bruce. But yeah, we're gonna play a couple games here, see if we can get some wins. If you enjoyed the battle royale, drop a like. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so here we go. We're facing a left-handed pitcher, which is good considering we got Kinsler and Freeze on the team. I think that helps my cause a little bit. Uh, lefty would have, or a righty would have been a lot worse. Oh, is that a base hit? No, nice play by Crawford. Oh, overthrow. Wait, uh, that is rare that you see that in this game, actually. That is super rare. And now we get to use David Freeze for the first time ever. I have never used him before, and that's going to be... Oh, I'm sending my guy. Oh, no, I shouldn't have sent him. Slide. That's where I'm stupid, you guys. I thought maybe I had enough time there, but I, I apparently did not. Okay, Ernie Banks, you got to make up for the... Gotta make make up for these errors. Oh, there's a base hit up the middle. Okay, so I'm seeing the ball really well right now. I actually think those these challenges that I've done has helped my hitting. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's helped a lot because I'm still not that great at this game, but I think it's helped my timing stuff because this is my first year ever using zone hitting. Uh, so other than a few mental errors in this inning, I should probably have I should have at least a run with two guys on with none out. But instead, no runs with one out, which is awesome. There's another. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch. We got and here we go, Edwin and Cardassia. This is the guy I want up right now. I feel like we're going yard. I got a good feeling. Oh no, a little short chopper. He's got a chance though. No, not nothing there. Okay, we gotta go pitch. Who do I got pitching here? I totally forget who he drafted for me in terms of pitchers. I do not remember at all. Oh, I got Vogel song. Don't know who that is. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Always a good sign when you have no idea who the guy is. Justin Smoke, you don't see many, I honestly, I don't think I've faced him all year. Battle Royale, Diamond Dynasty, I have not faced him, but he's actually having a really, really good year for the Jays. Um, he didn't last year, with with the Colabello thing, like he did not, Colabello was the guy last year, and Smoke was kind of, the, they put him in for fielding situations, but he's actually had such a good year this year, and I can say I'm a very, someone who hates being wrong, but he's had a, I'm impressed with what he's done. When I didn't really think that was going to happen. When I found out that when Cole Bell was done, I was like, uh-oh. But Smokes actually played super awesome. There we go. We got out of it. And that actually, I don't think that was Brendan Crawford at shortstop who made that throwing there. I think that was Jer uh, Jason Worth. So, my bad. Correction on my part. Correction. Evan Gaddis looks like a lumberjack. He looks like the most old-school baseball player. Like, he could have played in any century. Like, this guy, he doesn't wear batting gloves. He's got the sweetest beard ever. He wears high socks. Like, Evan Gaddis is goals. Oh, no, that's going. That's hit. Well, that's hit off almost far enough, but a little bit foul. Okay, I got to straighten it out with him here. 0-2 count, though. Top of the second. Nice pitch. Okay, we got Gregor Belanco here with one out. Oh, that's gap. That's a double for sure. If we can get down. Yes! Oh, maybe a triple. Maybe a triple. Keep Get going. Get going, Gregor. Yes, I almost pinched it for him because he's a lefty, but I'm so glad that I kept him in. Okay, runner on third with only one out. Seth Smith, just get something to the outfield, man. Just get something to the outfield. Or up, or a base hit. Base hit works too, Seth Smith. This guy is a terrible fielder. Like, he is out running. He's just taking the worst paths I've ever seen. The worst path, I mean, I'm going to take out Vogel song and get a reliever in. Do I, have, I got Jason Mott. Yeah, I remember actually RBT got me Jason Mott. Um, Souza, who do I want here? I'm going to put in Howie Kendrick. I'm going to put in Kendrick here to pinch it. We got Kinsler on deck. So as long as I don't hit into a double play, we should have a pretty good beginning here. There's another base hit. <laughs> okay, two guys on for Ian Kinsler. We got Ian Kinsler and then David Freeze back to back. We should be able to cause some damage this inning. And if we don't, I got issues. But I think I think I can get out with the pitching. I don't think this guy's that good of a hitter, to be honest. There we go. That's gap. Get moving. 
Get those runners going. Uh, that should score too. Yep. And then that's a triple. Right on Ian Kinsler. I've been seeing the ball really well this game, actually. Like, ridiculously well. This this shirt actually was bought for me. Um, I, I just looked at it by... Um, one of my, my mom works at the cancer center. Um, she's a nurse, so... Oh, this guy has quit, and I'll, I'll, I'll continue that story in the next game. With the story of this t-shirt, actually. So my mom, who, I, like I said, works at the cancer center, she had a patient who was a big baseball fan, and they'd go watch spring training all the time. So my mom told the, the lady that I was a baseball fan, so she very nicely, like one of the nice... Okay, well, I'm just going to keep telling the story while Reggie Stalker just absolutely kills me. Um, <laughs> so she very nicely at spring training went and bought me two t-shirts even though she didn't know who I was and told my mom to give them to me and honestly at the time I was so excited it was just it was the sweetest thing and I think she passed away a couple months after that and it was it's really sad so I'll never get rid of these t-shirts like they have a lot of sentimental value and I just I think I think it's awesome like just such a nice lady and such a nice thing to do um, that I'll always appreciate but other than that, let's get into the gameplay here. Um, one nothing, I'm down right now. I have zero outs, and there is a runner on first with Daniel Murphy up next. So hopefully I can get Murphy out here. I gotta get, well I can't say, hopefully I have to get Murphy out here. Well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> shouldn't have died for that I don't know what triggered I had like a brain like my something in my brain just triggered right there and was like you should die TD you should lay out for that one nope that did not pan out okay come on Edwin you know you want to swing just swing at a bad pitch don't don't make me throw you a good pitch so you can hit it out oh there's a base hit so none out okay so after a tough first inning we are down four to nothing now. I got Kinsley leading off though, so we should be able to get some manufacture some run. Or no, I think I, I think my lineup is Kinsler. I'm not sure if I have David Freeze or David Ortiz right now. I got David Freeze. Okay, okay, so it's Kinsler, Ortiz, and then Ernie Banks. So three pretty good righties. We'll see if we can get something going here against this lefty. There we go, Edwin. That is what I like to see. I don't know why they didn't give me the no doubt home run celebration there because that one was about as close to no doubt as possible. Okay, only down by two runs now. I knew this game wasn't over. I gotta get my bullpen going though because I can't leave my pitcher in there because he was terrible. Gat oh, Gaddis gets a base hit too. There we go. That's, that's what I like to say. I think I got David Ortiz next. I think that's who's up. There we go, Gregor. Now it must be Poppy. So if Poppy can hit a home run right here, I know this is his rookie card and I, it's not great against left-handed pitching, but if he can hit a home run right here, we are going to be in some pretty good shape for this game. Guess it was a good decision. Okay, so going into the bottom of wing number three, I am down six to two. Uh, Stalker got another home run as well as Edwin Encarnacion. But I got the good part of my order coming up. I got David Freeze and, uh, oh, I don't even know, Ernie Banks coming up. See, my memory is terrible. Hopefully I can get something going here. If not... We're gonna, we're gonna be, we lost a game. There we go, Ernie. Oh no, I got under that. See, right off the bat, I thought that was gone. I don't know why. Okay, my last hope, and it is gonna come down to Edwin Encarnacion, the only guy to do anything this game can he can he get back-to-back -back home runs or is this game over I think this game might be over but we'll see if he can hit back-to-back hit, hit -back home runs that's it pretty well the center field is under it thank you guys so much for it if you enjoy the battle royale please be sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys next time